Good morning. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about my monthly budget, how much I spend per month. Um, it's just going to be a really rough guideline because of course it's uh, different for everybody. Um, especially if you consider food, which is the first thing on my list. Um, for me, groceries, I have been trying to do a whole food diet, which means I go to the local market. Or if I don't go to the local market, if I go to a supermarket, I focus on just getting fruits and veggies. Um, mostly in season, <laughs> not mangoes or anything like that that's not really local. Um, but yeah, right now, butternut is in season. So I got two bu massive butternuts. Um, I don't know how big they are. Twice the size of, size of my head, bigger, <laughs> bigger than that. And they only cost uh, three levs together. It's, I'll, I'll put a picture in. because that's just incredible. If you buy in season, it's so cheap. It's really, really great. Um, and I've been trying to not eat too much processed food. Of course, that's not possible if you go out to restaurants and so on, but just mainly, you know, uh, if I buy vegetables from the market and or supermarket, then I try and aim just for fruits and veggies in season. That definitely keeps the cost down and you can notice that quite quickly. If I go to uh, a Sunday market, I might spend about 40 uh, levs on the high end. Um, it's a little spider. <laughs> um, so I maybe max 50 levs because obviously costs are increasing these days, but um, I just don't spend that much at the market and that food will last me for a whole week. And some of the items I buy will last even longer, like for example, honey. I need a whole jar. It's like a 700, it's bigger than this. <laughs> it's a 750 ml jar. Can't eat that in a week. So yeah, that's, um, that's a pretty good trick to keep the food cost down to go to the local market and just to eat seasonal fruits and veggies. So that's always an option. Um, I would say overall my food cost per month um, because it fluctuates, sometimes I do eat processed food, sometimes I do shop at a supermarket. So it's somewhere between 200 and 300 levs. I'm being a little bit generous, I think it's more around the 200 levs, but 200 to 300, just approximately. Yeah. And I should also mention that that'll probably change between summer and winter, because in summer I've been having a great time um, picking salads in the garden, and yeah, that's a really good way to live um, just because I think the quality of the food in the garden is better than the ones that you get in the supermarket you know you don't have all the pesticides on the fruits and veggies and um, obviously it's free <laughs> so yeah talking about a budget that's a really really good strategy to keep your food cost down and if I want to make this that sustainable I'll need a bigger garden like uh, not as in more space, but to actually plant plants in the garden. Like as you can see, or maybe you can't see, maybe you can see that. I haven't planted enough yet. I've only planted things here and that's not enough um, for a whole season. Yeah, so that's not enough for a whole season, but it was enough for quite a bit of it. So I'm pretty impressed. It's pretty good. Um, of course, the weeds have helped a lot too. Like for example, the purslane that was so unexpected and it's such a good part of the salad too. Um, basil is fantastic, the cherry tomatoes are fantastic, yeah, just, and dandelion leaves, yeah, there's so much, I can't even mention all of it, um, but I will be planting more next year for sure, and they do really, really well, as long as I have the shade covering over them in summer, they will survive just fine, with the occasional watering, maybe every second day, depending on how hot it is. Anyway, back to the budget. <laughs> so that's groceries, which is really different for everybody. But for me, it's around two, I would say 200 because that's how I eat. I eat whole foods or foraging. <laughs> okay, the next one is um, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi every month is 20 levs. And if you pay for six months in advance, then they give you one month free. So that's a pretty good deal in my opinion, because I use Wi-Fi every day and uh, yeah, 20, 20 loves a month. 
the next thing on the budget list is diesel. Diesel is um, a little bit expensive for me because I drive my van, which is two tons. Um, of course, that's going to cost much more in diesel compared to a small little car. So I budget 100 leva every month for my van diesel. Um, sometimes I do big trips and sometimes I don't drive for a whole week. So it's really up and down and it's hard to say, oh, it's exactly 100 leva a month. But I found that I c that is a pretty good estimate and I like to budget with 100 leva for the diesel per month. Um, and then there's electricity. Electricity and water, which I briefly mentioned in my other video. Um, water I don't really consider because it cost 50 leva for five months, which is 10 leva per month. So I guess you could budget it that way, but uh, you don't pay it every month. It's uh, the lady just comes by whenever she comes by, like maybe once every five months or so, which is what happened to me. And uh, then it's 50 leva, so. Yeah, but just to budget, it's about 10 leva per month for the water. And um, electricity, so far I've been paying about 25 leva per month, which I think is incredibly cheap. And I'm not really sure if that's accurate, but it would seem it is because they've installed a new meter. Everything is connected. So it's 25 leva a month for electricity, which is incredibly cheap. It's pretty great. And then there is um, gas. If you uh, want to cook with gas, then of course you have to have a gas bottle. Um, filling up a gas bottle is 25 leva, but it lasts forever. If you only use it for cooking, it's gonna last about a year for me. Um, I don't do that much cooking. In summer, I don't cook at all. I just, you know, eat raw things. Um, or if I do eat something cooked, then it'll be from a restaurant. Um, so this gas bottle with 25 lev doesn't shouldn't really feature on the budget but it is something i spend money on so it's good to mention i guess um and then there is yettle yettle is the sim or my uh phone contract which is 16 levs a month it is so cheap it is not unlimited though but it's more than i can use um and now i'm trying to think how much it actually is let me check all right, I've just looked it up. It is 20 gigabytes for 17 lev, which, as I said, it's more than I can actually use um, because obviously most of the time I use Wi-Fi and that is unlimited. And that's 20 levs. <laughs> so internet in Bulgaria is so cheap. It's really, really pleasant. Um, yeah, good experience with that. Um, and then going out to restaurants is also an expense um, that I have put down a hundred lev for that because restaurants are actually not that expensive. Um, yeah, it's it's nearly comparable to grocery shopping. It's pretty close. So yeah, going out, it's actually a pretty good idea whenever you feel like uh, you don't want to cook. <laughs> it's uh, It's a nice option to have, especially considering that it just doesn't cost that much. So yeah, going out to eat, re eat in restaurants is it's pretty good in Bulgaria. Um, but I should mention, obviously, uh, it depends which restaurants you go to because they are expensive restaurants and they are cheap and cheerful restaurants. So I'm for referring to the cheap and cheerful ones. Uh, cheap and cheerful. <laughs> um, the average bill would be maybe um, between 10 and 20 lev per person if you go to uh, a casual restaurant. Um, I actually did go to a really nice restaurant the other day and the bill came to 20 levs per person, which was also pretty nice. And that was for a, maybe, I want to say a three course because I did have dessert, I did have a starter, but mm, maybe more like two and a half course because uh, the, yeah, the portions were pretty small. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty cheap to eat out in Bulgaria. And then I've added another um, cost into my budget, which I just call miscellaneous, because um, there's always like, random things that come up, like entertainment, maybe you know that sort of category, where in summer you'd go to the swimming pool, and that costs uh, six laps if you want to swim, because I think they charge so that. Um, 
the lifeguard gets paid. <laughs> they do have a lifeguard, so they they charge six laps if you want to swim, and that's for the whole day, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so I just have a miscellaneous of 100 lav. If I want to, I don't know, buy something like a chopping board or something, that'll probably fall into that category. Yeah, and that's worked out pretty well so far. It, it fluctuates though, you know, some months are more quiet than others. Oh yes, and just to mention that currently the diesel price is at 3 lev 20 approximately, but it's also fluctuating quite a lot. Um, but approximately it's around 320 levs right now. Um, so yeah, all of that comes to about, let me add it up. Okay, so that all comes to about 600 levs, um, which is a very small budget for every month. And I think if you want to actually do more things that are fun, you would need to have a bigger budget than that. Um, to be really comfortable, I think 500 euros is the best budget to go with. Um, I know I've said uh, my budget is 600 levs, which I, you know, spend in theory, but there's always a little bit extra on there. That's just how it goes. Um, so if you have a budget anywhere between 300 euros to 500 euros, you'll be very comfortable in Bulgaria. No problem. <laughs> depending on what you like, I suppose. If you like five-star restaurants, you might need a bit more. <laughs> um, but there's just one more thing I need to add as well. Um, the costs or the budget between sp spring and summer and autumn and winter is a little bit different, um, especially if you consider summer and winter. In winter, you need to budget for the wood as well. So um, I have I spent 800 labs just about on wood, um, and the winter is about three maybe four months of cold where you need to be lighting a fire so that's about 200 roughly it's really roughly 200 levs per month um and that's only in winter of course but that is something to budget for so then the budget goes from 600 levs to 800 levs and that means 400 euros per month in the colder months um and Maybe that balances out, because in winter you might be doing less um, fun things, you might be going out less, you might be staying in more just to be warm and cozy and you don't really feel like going out into the cold. So you'll be doing less entertainment stuff, so you'll be paying more for the wood to keep warm, but paying less for the entertainment. <laughs> and um, in summer you'll be paying more for going out and having fun and doing interesting things, um, and less for wood heating you wouldn't need at all so it sort of balances each other out and yeah if if anybody asked me how much i would need per month how much i would budget i would say between 400 and 500 euros per month just to be sure that you have enough money to feel comfortable and do what you actually want to do and not just have enough just for food you know you also want to enjoy as well that's important to keep in mind and that's what you can do with 500 euros in Bulgaria it's pretty good all right I hope you enjoyed this rough budget and I hope it was useful and if you have any questions let me know just type it in the comments and I'll get back to you and if you haven't yet please subscribe and put a thumbs up I really appreciate it it helps a lot all right speak soon bye Squeaky cat. Just wanted to share a beautiful sunset. Pretty, pretty. Adorable cat. <laughs> oh, Bailey, you're so cute. She's been sitting over there in that chair all day. All these beautiful colors with the mountains. That's beautiful. Beautiful willow tree. I need to decide where to plant that. I also need to put a balcony here. I'd love to have a balcony. <laughs> one day, one day. Hopefully soon. There's just so much that I need to do. It's difficult to prioritize. But sooner or later, everything will sort of fall into place. And there's no real rush, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. <laughs> Bailey's not worried.
Oh, what a cutie.